Hi, I'm Angela Devalda Sirico, and today I'm working with Sasha on some hip and knee strengthening exercises. You know, today's dancers are asked to do a lot of very difficult technical tricks, um, a lot of leaps, different things, uh, uh, pirouettes, different movements that are very demanding on the body. And very often, they don't have the strength in the right areas to support the movement, and therefore they get injured. So we want to prevent all of our dancers becoming injured. So we're focusing on strengthening the muscles that need to be used for these big movements, not the quadriceps, more the hip area and the knee area, so that they're able to gain the right strength in the right groupings of muscles to be able to do these movements safely. So this is a very easy exercise. It can be done on a stool. We're also going to show it on a ball. And I encourage you to incorporate these kind of exercises into your daily classes, because the results will be fantastic. Um, so. You're going to sit, you're going to put one foot just on the heel, keeping the upper body and of course utilizing all the core muscles. And you're just simply going to lift that leg up, lift and lower, and lift and lower. And what it's doing, keep going, it's really strengthening this area here, the area that's supporting the knee. And so often the inner thigh and the, this particular area of the knee gets a little bit neglected but this will increase their stability. So I encourage 10 on each side, then build up to 16. We like to do things in counts of eight. <laughs> so as we're dancers, that's why. So let's try on the other leg and you alternate the legs. Okay, so start with 10 to start, but you can you feel it? Yes, you can really feel it. Um, it doesn't matter um, if one leg is a little parallel, whatever feels comfortable for the dancer, that's what's most important. And as you can see, Sasha's sitting very straight. And you don't need special apparatus. You just need the body and the stool. Now, we can also do this on a ball. This becomes a little more tricky, right? Because not only uh, you have a, a, a surface that is not that stable. And really, you just want to have the fingertips against and now try it doing it that way. You see how she's sitting beautifully straight. Posture is fantastic and she's lifting. Now she's having to concentrate as she lifts the leg, not just on the leg action, but on not falling off the ball. Some may fall off, it's okay, in the beginning, until they get used to using their core muscles. Try the other leg, sweetie. And lift, can you feel this? Now you're really having to work your core muscles. But this simple exercise, if done on a regular basis, will definitely help with stability of the knee and of the hips, and that's the key. Okay, thank you.